In this video, we're going to go over how to hide or exclude products from either retail or wholesale customers. So here is our product page for our shop. And I added uh, wholesale to the title of this product and retail to the title of this product, just so we can see what's going on. And the first thing we're gonna do is hide our wholesale product from retail customers. These would be customers who are not um, logged into your shop with tags on their account. So we're gonna go to our Shopify backend and open up our products. And we're gonna find our wholesale product. Click it. And down here on the right, you'll see where you can add product tags. And so to hide a product from retail customers and only show it to wholesale, you just need to add the tag wholesale dash only to the product. Add it there and then click save. Great, right, so now, uh, right now, we're not logged in as a wholesale account right now. So if I reload the page, you should see uh, this wholesale product disappear from the list. And there you go. It's not there anymore. You won't be able to find it on the search pages either. Um, if someone did have a direct link to the product for some reason, um, they could still access it as a retail customer but no wholesale prices would apply. And um, they shouldn't have that direct link unless you give it to them for some reason. So next up, we are going to uh, hide this retail product from wholesale customers. So first we're gonna go ahead and log in as a wholesale account that we've already set up. And back on our catalog, you can see that our wholesale product is now visible again because we're logged in with a wholesale account. And now we're gonna go ahead and hide this uh, retail product from wholesale customers. So first we're gonna go to Wholesale Gorilla and open up the settings page. And right here, you're gonna see the product exclusion section. And any tags we add here, if these tags are found on a product, they will be hidden from wholesale customers. So to keep it simple, we'll make our tag exclude and we'll save it. And now we're going to add this tag here to the products we want hidden from wholesale. So back on our products tab, we're going to go to our retail products. And in the tag section, we will add exclude. And tags are case sensitive, so keep that in mind as you are setting them. And we'll save this. And now back on our shop, if we reload the page, you can see that retail uh, product won't show up for wholesale customers now. And one thing to point out about exclusions, um, especially if you have a lot of products in your collection, there's a limit in Shopify where they only allow you to display 50 products per page for your collection. But if we exclude some items from a page, they don't allow us to go to the next page to grab in items to um, fill out the blank spots that are now empty from the exclusions. So two things you can do to kind of counteract this would be to make your collection pages so they can show uh, the maximum number of products po possible. Usually that's gonna be 48 or 50. Um, and also you can try to group the wholesale items um, all kind of together on your collection page. So if we uh, go back to our products and open a collection, if you had a bunch of products here and the wholesale ones were uh, kind of just interspersed throughout, if you had to break it up into multiple pages, um, there might be that issue with uh, too few products on each page. So what you can do is um, change your sort sorting of the collection to manual, and then you can drag the order of items around. So you could put um, all the wholesale products together in the beginning, for example, um, or just arrange them so uh, the pages are a little more filled out.